leaders within the BJP who have been denied a ticket, who are upset. They aren't really explicitly speaking against the BJP leadership, but have really expressed their displeasure in many ways. Like, for example, Raghupati Bhatt, Udupi MLA, who won three times, was, was really someone who grabbed national headlines when he restricted girls wearing the hijab from entering the classrooms, the government colleges in Udupi. That's where the hijab controversy started, and it was the same Raghupati Bhatt who denied the entry, which eventually took a legal battle, uh, and the Karnataka High Court uh, restricting hijab or any other religious symbol inside educational institutions. Raghupati Bhatt, hoping for a ticket, but was denied. He broke down. Nano ba vikti agi. Yen wal dum und family namma panchayat number villa. Ange party kute gan party apit ge besre la. Anaris ko nanta riti abge tumba besre. Yikshna do rege obba. Nani ge phone madi. Karya kartro ratri phone madi dar papa. Idi ratri mur gante na gante ko phone madi dar nidde madi lor. Aje namma naik rathun toor. One call madi. Yakoskara party and seat could live. Atava quoted the kit means Sakari soup. Until he lived. Tondre Lanana, our shakate eagle illega party. Yakandre party built it. All right, now here's a quick look as I show you here. The big fight, the big fa battle, the big dangal that really will be focused around this entire elections will be of these netas. First of all, starting with Kanakpura, D.K. Shiv Kumar versus R. Ashok. This is going to be one of the biggest dangles that will be very, very interesting to watch. D.K. Shiv Kumar, a strong Lingayat leader, and R. Ashok also, on the other hand, a strong Lingayat leader. But it appears that the BJP fielding Ashok in Kanakpura is really a statement made. And then let me get you through who's going to be fighting H.D. Kumaraswamy. That is C.P. Yogeshwar of the BJP. And for Varuna, it will be D. Somanna who will be fighting Sidramaya.